Shalom. First and foremost, call her Lord Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakai Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations also to the hopefully elect tabernacle of David scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. So, once again, it's the brother Azar Yah back again with another lesson in the spirit of prophecy, which is the testimony of our Lord Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. So I have a few articles here in which I want to touch on a few of the major judgments that have been happening within the planet Earth as of recently. And um, we all know what time it is. You know, brothers continue to prophesy, bring these things out, be watchmen unto the events happening in the world. And what you can see is that the Most High has been increasing the judgment. Last year, in 2022, we saw during the summertime, the Most High was burning up the whole entire Earth. Europe was being burnt up. Abnormally high temperatures were being recorded in places like England, France, uh, uh, Germany, you know, places in Europe that are normally quite mild in temperature. The most high caused it to be triple digits, which is unheard of. You know, same thing over here in uh, the U.S. You know, millions of acres of, of land were, were burnt up in the uh, Pacific Northwest, California, and in the Midwest as well. You know, so we've been seeing Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai increase that judgment upon these wicked inhabitants of the planet Earth. So this here is going into an article of this plane crash that happened either yesterday or today. But it says at least 68 dead in the Paul plane crash. Many burned beyond recognition. Search for the missing underway. So this is a plane crash that happened out there in Nepal, which is in um, Eastern Asia near India, I believe, in which this plane crashed and they've confirmed that at least 68 people have died from result of this crash. Now, whenever you see things like this, you have to understand that the Heavenly Father, he is the author of life and death. He decides when you come into this world and he makes the call on when you're going to uh, depart from this world. So your life and your death is in the hands of the Heavenly Father. All right. So anything that happens to you, whether it be death or life, the most high sanction that he allowed that to happen. All right. So it says here, 68 deaths were confirmed and four people were missing after a plane crashed Sunday in a Nepal ravine. The wreckage burning so hot that rescue workers were unable to aid at least one screaming victim. Wow. So even after the plane crashed, people were still alive. But because of the intense heat that was coming off from the wreckage, they were unable to even save those who may have even had a chance to live. But once again, that's all the will of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Because, hey, let's just call it what it is. The scriptures say whosoever perished being innocent. If you or, or me was to drop dead right now, none of us can say that, oh, I, you know, I never did no wickedness or I never sinned. Like, nah, man, all of us are, are, are guilty. We just continue to uh, continue on and, and have mercy through the, through the grace of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, but it's not, it's not, uh, it's not, it's not of anything that we've done as to where we get these mercies. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's all of the Most High's will. So for these 68 people, at least, that they've counted, uh, perished, from this crash the most high took him out all right the most high wanted them to die for whatever sin whatever iniquity all right we know over there in nepal you know they did these people worship false idols and hey one thing one other thing you got to keep in mind as well the most high is judging israel of course the most high been judging us but now the most high is starting to shift that judgment over to these other nations that's a major thing that you're seeing right now. Like I mentioned last year, Europe was catching the heat. America was catching the heat. A lot of these countries where you don't see major judgments, earthquakes, tsunamis, wildfires happen. These things are happening there now because this is all the judgment of the Lord. Um, yeah, it says Yeti Airlines flight NYT-691 crashed near the resort town of Polkara. At about 10.50 a.m. local time, the Nepal Civil Aviation Authority said two helicopters and a ground rescue team immediately responded to the scene. 
said the flames were so hot that we couldn't we couldn't go near the wreckage. I heard a man crying for help, but because of the flames and smoke, we couldn't help him. Hundreds of people gathered at the site soon after the crash of the twin engine plane. 68 passengers and a crew of four were aboard the plane, the agency said. All right, so major judgment, man. You see that? They out there deep, All right? <laughs> so, hey, man, this is even more of a reason, especially in these last days, to get right. Okay, because, hey, the most high is, is deleting a lot of people. Look at all the people that's dropping dead from sipping that gin and juice, you know? It's, hey, it, it's people dropping every single day off of that gin and juice, man. And that's judgment, too. <laughs> you see, so, yeah, it's, it's you know, you got to got to get right because, you know, that, 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 that grace period that the most high has afforded for for a portion of time now it's running out and uh people's people's lives are being people are being deleted let's go here california storms biden declares a major disaster as more flooding forecast says death toll at 19 after prolonged spell of rain and snow caused by atmospheric rivers set to continue until tuesday all right so that hey and, and, that, and that flooding out there that flooding that you see out there in California, that's serious. Because it never floods out there in California. You know what I'm saying? California is known as the sunshine state. You know what I'm saying? It's always sunny, always nice weather. But now you're seeing floods. Things that are unprecedented to happen. So what's that? That's all the judgment of the Heavenly Father. Um, Joe Biden has declared a major disaster in California following devastating winter storms leading to flooding and mudslides and the deaths of at least 19 people. On Saturday, Biden ordered federal aid to supplement state, tribal, and local recovery efforts in areas affected by storms since late December. The president's action makes federal funding available to affected individuals in the counties of Merced, Sacramento, and Santa Cruz, the White House said in a statement. And uh, to the brothers that's out there, in the Bay Area, L.A., you know, all throughout Cali, man, you know, send up prayers for those brothers out there that's doing the work of, of uh, the Lord, that the Lord keep them safe and, uh, you know, have a hedge of protection in this time, man, you know, because, you know, we, A, hey, the Most High is not playing. You know, the Most High is not playing, man. All right? The most, it's not nothing for the Heavenly Father to take out, to, to take you out. If you living in complicit wickedness, man, you know, but I just pray those brothers out there that's doing the work in California that uh, these things do not come by them. You know, that the most high keep a hedge of protection around them and have grace and mercy for those brothers to continue, you know. Um, says the reality is that this is just the eighth of what we anticipate will be nine atmospheric rivers we're not done the associated press reported newsom saying at a briefing with local leaders in which he urged people to be vigilant about safety for the next 24 to 48 hours the swollen salinas river swamped farmland in monterey county to the east flood warnings were in effect for merced county central valley where the governor gavin newsom visited to take stock of the situation so you see, the most high is turning up. All right. And that's one thing about a natural disaster. There's really nothing that you can do about a natural disaster. Like if an earthquake was to come and it's a huge magnitude, like a 7.2 or 7.5, what are you going to do about it? Your whole infrastructure is going to be busted up. You know, thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people are going to die. You know what I'm saying? Like natural disasters you, you you can't and then again you really can't predict it like like a uh for example if if uh, you got a hurricane yeah you might initially track the hurricane and see that okay it's not that powerful it might be a category one or category two but in a matter of hours it can jump from a category two to a category four you know and that's and that's a dangerously powerful hurricane man you see so when the most high wants to wants to jack you up all he got to do is send an earthquake. All, all he got to do is, you know, send a tornado. 
But then you really have people upon the planet Earth that, that really think that they can strive with the most high, mainly Esau. Esau really thinks that he can strive with the most high, man. The most high can turn up the heat of the sun, which I believe this summer that's 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 gonna happen. That's going into uh I know it's a revelation that speaks about um the sun uh scorched men and men cursed uh, the most high for the heat of the sun, uh roughly paraphrasing. But yeah, uh, hey, the most high he don't have to touch you. You know what I'm saying? The most listen, hey, hey, the most high can use anything. The most high is the is 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 uh the almighty. He can do whatever he want to do. You can't do a damn thing about it. All right. Let's move on here to this last one and we'll get some precepts and close out. So this here um it says at least 2 dead, 11 injured in massive California earthquake. All right, it says at least two people have died in the massive earthquake uh, that struck Northern California. Tuesday, authorities said both deaths resulted from me medical emergencies during or following the 6.4 magnitude earthquake that rattled the area of 2.30 a.m. The Humboldt County Sheriff's Office of Emergency Services announced. OK, so another earthquake. And we know pertaining to the book of Matthew 24, the Lord said that you would see earthquakes in diverse places. All right. That these were the beginning of sorrows, marking the beginning of the end before the Lord makes his return. These are the signs that we will see. OK, so major judgments happening throughout the planet Earth. And this is even more of a reason for those that have a sincere heart towards the Lord, especially those of the hopeful elect to, uh, you know, get closer to the most high, you know, to. You know, not stray away from the law, statutes, and commandments, doing what you have to do as a, as a good and humble servant, you know, um, because the, these things can easily come upon you. You start going off, the most high can send these things to afflict you. All right. So with that being said, let's get some scriptures. Um, Deuteronomy the uh, 32 and 39, it says, see now that I, even I am he and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. For I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. Okay, so the Lord says that I kill and I make alive. Once again, going back to the point that all issues of life and death are authored and sanctioned by the Most High. If a bird drops out the sky, and drops down to the ground dead Guess what the most high allowed that The most high wanted that to happen That was the issue of death Alright by the heavenly father And it's no different when you deal with How much more an animal You know what I'm saying Like when well, you consider an animal But how much more so a wicked human being That, that, that you know Every day bucks up against The, the, the you know heavenly father And his law statutes and commandments People curse the Most High, man. You know what I'm saying? People send up curses on the Most High. They, they blaspheme. They, they speak proudly against the Most High and his, you know, his uh, servants. So it's no wonder you see these things come upon people because these people have it coming, man. You know what I'm saying? These people got it coming. But yeah, the Most High said, I, I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. So you don't even have, the Most High don't even have to kill you. If the Most High want to kill you, then he can kill you. But the Most High can can wound you as well. All right, you might get caught up in a in a in a in a, in a drive by, where you might not die in that drive by, but hey, one, one one or two bullets might might hit you, so you'll live, but but you wounded. That's the judgment of the Heavenly Father. You see, if you if if you run in, you know what I'm saying, if you uh, run out for a, a jog and you trip over something. And you bang your knee and you, you know what I'm saying you, you uh, blow your knee out. That's judgment from the Heavenly Father, man. You see? So all these things you need to take into consideration, uh, you know, take these things into consideration in your walk. You know what I'm saying? Constantly examine yourself daily. Because when th things happen to people, man, you know what I'm saying? They are quick to say, especially Christians. Christians are quick to say, oh, it's the devil. You know what I'm saying? Which, hey, the devil needs permission from the Most High to, to, to afflict you. So even if it is the devil, the most high allowed him to do it. The most high sent Satan to do it. <laughs> you see? So that's, you got to understand that, you know, Satan is the sword of the most high. All right. 
2 Ezra 16 and 15, the fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundations of the earth, like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returned is not backward. Even so, the plagues that shall be sent upon earth shall not return again. What was me? What was me? Who will deliver me in those days? Okay, this is the prophet Ezra speaking about the events that were to happen in the last days. Okay, and then one of those uh, events is, you know, all these calamities that's going to come upon the earth. And he likened it as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer. Okay, and the plagues, okay, flooding is 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 a plague hunger uh mental torment suicidal thoughts uh earthquakes hurricanes you know what i'm saying all these things are plagues and scourges sent by the most high ezra said woe is me so destruction unto me who will deliver me who will save me in those days when these things come to pass this is the point verse 18 the beginning of sorrows and great mornings the beginning of famine and great death and we're seeing famine and great death right now Going back to the gin and juice, look look how many people have, have dropped dead from that. You know what I'm saying? You just had um, Lisa Ann Presley. She just died. I'm not going to mention, but you can look it up and see what the cause of death was. But it's the same thing. If, if you sipping that or if you sip that uh, gin and juice and you drank too much of it, then you got deleted. You, you know what I'm saying? You're going to end up perishing, man, if you haven't already. Uh, famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the powers shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils, what shall I do when these evils shall come? See that? So, you know, <laughs> but, hey, what are you going to do when these evils shall come? Who is going to be your strength and refuge in that day? And for us, for the hopeful elect, it's Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, the name of Yahweh Shai is a strong tower, and the righteous run therein. Okay? So we understand where our salvation is at, but these people don't. That's why when these things happen, people are going to perish in droves. Okay, behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. See, so all these things, man, all, all of the, you know, the famine, the, the, the great death, you know, all these things that you're seeing in the news are scourges for amendment, scourges to correct the wickedness of these wicked people. So with that... I'm going to go ahead and end it off right there. Hopefully this lesson was edifying through the Rekha Kedash. In closing, call hello to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim Rekha Kedash. And until next time, Shalom to the elect. Come Yahshua, the DTA, and the Bible Ball. Shalom.